Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about measuring the perimeter of different polygons. So our learning goal for today says, I can measure side lengths in whole numbers to determine the perimeter of polygons. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your ruler and the lesson template. So make sure you have those before you get started. All right, friends, so in the previous lessons, we've learned that the boundary of a shape is called the shape's perimeter. That's the outside part. That's what you would trace the outside part. So what forms the boundary of shape A? Just as we look at this, what forms this, the boundary or the perimeter of shape A? Yeah, the sides form the boundary of shape A. So I can trace that with my finger. Ready? So I'm going to trace all the way around. So this is my perimeter. So I want you guys to trace the shape, the perimeter of shape A with your finger. So pause the video, trace the perimeter of shape A with your finger, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, here we go. So what tool can you use to figure out how many centimeters your finger traveled? around the perimeter. What, what tool can we use to measure that? Yeah, we would use a ruler, right? So measure and label the side lengths of shape A in centimeters. So pause the video, grab your ruler, measure the side length, lengths, all four sides, in centimeters. Don't use inches, centimeters. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so here's the measurements I came up with. 10 across the top, 10 across the bottom, right? Because it's a rectangle, so opposite sides are equal. And the same thing for both sides. They're both four centimeters. If you didn't get those measurements, pause the video and go back and remeasure because you should have 10 centimeters for the top and the bottom and four for the left and right sides. Okay, so now we're gonna write and solve a number sentence to show how to find the total of shape A's side lengths. So we wanna find the total perimeter. So friends, think back when we're looking about total, what does that mean? What operation are we gonna use? Yeah, you can add. Oh, some said multiply. Oh, okay. So that's kind of just to give you guys a start. How are we gonna find the total perimeter of the outside using those measurements. So pause the video, write and solve a number sentence to show the lengths to find the total side lengths, the total perimeter, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so here's one equation that I came up with, number sentence. 10 plus 10, which is my two top and bottom, plus 4 plus 4, which are my two sides, and that equals 28. All right, here's another way you could do this. We could do two times 10, which is my top and my bottom, plus two times four. So that would be 20 plus eight equals 28. Oh, cool, so that's another way we could do it. Here's one more way. We could do 10 plus four times two equals 28, because that would be 14 times two equals 28. So those are just three different ways that you could come up with how to find the perimeter. So what is 28 centimeters a measurement of? Yeah, it's the perimeter, okay, the outside part of the shape. What kind of polygon is shape A? So I want you to pause the video, think about what kind of polygon is it, right? It's just a closed figure. So what kind of polygon is this? We could use to describe it a couple different ways. I want you to think of at least one way and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so we could say that it's a quadrilateral because it has four sides, right? That's all a quadrilateral needs, four straight sides. We could also say it's a parallelogram because it has two sets of parallel lines. And we could say it's a rectangle because opposite sides are equal and the corners, they look like they're right angles, right? All right, so those are different ways that you could say what kind of polygon shape A is. 
All right, so let's practice finding the perimeter of different shapes. Let's do a couple more together. So you're gonna measure the side lengths of shape B on your lesson template, which looks just like this one. And then you're gonna write and solve a number sentence to show the perimeter of shape B. So pause the video, measure the side lengths, and write an equation and solve to find the perimeter of shape B. So pause, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so here's the measurements that I came up with. Five centimeters, four centimeters, and three centimeters. So make sure that you have those same measurements because we all have the same shape B, so they should all have the same measurements. Okay, then to find the perimeter, we just need to add those together. So five plus four plus three equals 12. So the perimeter of shape B is 12 centimeters. You always want to make sure that you label so someone doesn't think you're measuring in inches because an inch is very different than a centimeter. So always make sure that you're labeling the unit. All right, so let's look at another one. We're going to measure the side lengths of shape E on your lesson template. So it looks like this one. You're going to write and solve a number sentence to show the perimeter of shape E. Now, here's a little bit tricky thing I want to caution you to. We're used to kind of just measuring the outside, but look, there's like a part that's kind of cut out in the shape right here and here. Those are two separate measurements. So make sure that you measure both of those sides to get the perimeter of this shape. So where I have those yellow lines, you should have two different measurements right there. Each one of those yellow lines should have its own measurement. Okay, so pause the video, measure the side lengths, write a number sentence, and solve to show the perimeter of shape E. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so here are my measurements. Eight centimeters, six centimeters, six centimeters, three centimeters. Don't forget to go up this little guy's side right here. And then also right here, this is two centimeters and three centimeters. So we should all have the same measurements. So stop for just a second. Look to make sure that we have the same measurements. And then we'll talk about our number sentence. All right, so do they all match? Okay, perfect. So now we can go on to looking at our number sentence. If they don't all match, I want you to pause the video, go back and re-measure to make sure that they match mine, and then write a new number sentence to go along with it. All right, friends, now that we all match, here is our number sentence to find the perimeter. So you're gonna add all of the sides. So to add these, we would come up with 28. So the perimeter of shape E is 28 centimeters. All right, awesome job with that one, friends. All right, so nice work. You guys did an awesome job measuring side lengths to determine the perimeter of polygons. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know, I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye friends!